Okay, YouTubers, this is the Angry Prepper. Thank you for watching the Angry Truth channel. We're going to talk about how this bit of information is getting confused, confusing a lot of people, and being reported wrong. So apparently, guys, T-Mobile is changing their terms of service, TOS. And a lot of people are getting that wrong, thinking that this new form of TOS that's going into action, if you will, January 1st, is going to affect customers. So a lot of people are stating that T-Mobile is now going to start reading through your text messages, and if they don't like the text message, they're going to ban you, or rather, sorry, give you a fine. So as this was as I'm this was sent to me, I'm looking at it, I'm like this doesn't make sense. It says tier one, tier two, tier three. That's not for customers, and it even said non-customers who were going to get fined in the screenshots that were sent to me. It mentions non-customers. So of course I dive deeper into it and I go on T-Mobile's website, and T-Mobile agents don't really know what's going on with this, as it's not guaranteed to be implemented anyway dive a little deeper and you start seeing more of them talk about non-customers this is people who use text message to send out i guess soliciting text messages whatever that might be and t-mobile is going to hold them responsible for texting people or soliciting bullshit to people and this is to protect the customer not the non-customer if you will so if you are phishing, smishing, or social engineering, as they put it, and you send it to Dick Face Johnny, Dick Face Johnny is a T-Mobile customer. The guy who sent it to him is not. So being that he's a non-customer, they're going to trace the phone number back to him, and he's going to get the fine, not Johnny the Dick Face, who's a T-Mobile customer. So again, there's a lot being said about this, and a lot of it is just dead wrong. And when I read it initially, I'm like, this doesn't make sense. This reads as if they're trying to protect the customer, not the other way around. And a lot of people got that wrong because, of course, what do they do? They go to the Internet. They start changing the verbiage around and making it fit their agenda for their video when, in fact, it was entirely wrong. Now, there's a video of a guy who looks like he's Amish. That's why I first saw the video. I'm like, oh, man, you know, it seems like he's on a level. But then I said, ah, there was a couple things he said that didn't sit right with me. So, I, again, that's when I started doing my deep dive research and I found out the truth. And I'm like, all right, this guy had it all wrong. That being said, guys, you have to be careful who you follow, including myself, and do your own research. Yes, we'll bring something to light and you'll look at it and go, I don't know. And then you do your own research if you want to. I'm doing a lot more research these years because I'm trying to be wrong less, not to say I'm never going to be wrong again, but a lot of channels are getting shit wrong to scare the shit out of people on purpose. Now, I don't know if this guy's doing it for that reason. I think he might have just got it wrong because he misread it, but I had to read it in three different areas and go, all right, it's for non-customers. Customers are being protected by this. They don't want people being scammed or solicited for whatever bullshit is going on in the text messaging world. You know, you get that, hey, uh, you, do you want to join this uh, group of people for $50 and you can get free whatever? That's the kind of shit they're trying to stop via text message. So that's a good thing because that means less of these people, are, no one wants to be hit with a $500, $1,000 or $2,000 fine. Nobody. So they definitely going to cut down on this not saying that it's going to alleviate these illegal text or soliciting text altogether but it's going to definitely drop it down now initially when people read this they thought that t-mobile was going to be reading your text messages and if they didn't like it they were going to hit you with one of those fines and that is not the case the case is they're going after the non-customer if you are a customer you are protected by this from this shit sorry now the catch, which I started to, when I started reading, it was just a thought in my head. What if these solicitors are a T-Mobile member, customer? So that then this might not apply to them. This might apply to somebody who's using AT&T or Verizon and soliciting text messages from that end. And to keep in mind, the soliciting text messages, if it's illegal in just one state, they get a fine. That's the, the catch for the solicitor. If it's illegal in one state, that's all they need to give them a fine. And then it moves up the ladder from tier one, tier two, tier three. So again, with the information that's floating out there, people have to be very careful on what they're listening to, who they're listening to. And even so, guys, 
do your research because when it was sent to me it just didn't sound right it sounded wrong so I hopefully this clarifies a lot of shit up so that people don't start flipping out and leaving T-Mobile when they don't have to T-Mobile is undoubtedly going to release a press release on this because a lot of people are getting confused and looking at this the wrong way or rather they're looking at it from the wrong angle anyway guys this is the angry prepper thank you for watching the angry truths channel and happy new year's